Welcome back. We are discussing Dreamweaver CS6 and how to create a form. So first let's put a title on our page. We'll call this form page. And then the first thing that we want to do is we can do this either with the form icons or with the insert menu and we'll do both. Let's go ahead and insert a form there's the form and in order to make a form work we have to call a script to process that so there we go and in our form let's put in a couple of text boxes insert a form text field and we'll call that first name F name and just to show that's one way of putting it in now here's another way we can just copy that and change it L name L name and then we can put in a insert a text area and we'll make this 10 columns by 5 rows and we'll call this comments and that's our text area and then the third way we can populate something is with the shortcut icon buttons and submit and we're going to put this as submit alright and there is the basis for our web, web form now just to make life easy I'm going to open up a web form that I've already built with all the correct variables in it and here we can see the form action and it's a post type method and the input is hidden for subject and redirect and the reason for this difference here is that every hosting company might have a different script or different subtleties on, on their script and how they process mail from a web form so that's why there's a differences here we have the text field for the first name a text field for the last name and a text field for your email and a text area for comments and then an input submit button and so let's save that as form one as our form and we will go ahead and publish that and if we go to our document on our test server there we have it and so let's put in some names and we'll put in new comment and when we hit submit we can see that it went back to page one and it did what it should do and that is the basis of a form well our form is not very pretty and so we saw here on our form that we had green letters and that was because we had put the form in a division called eForm. So if we go to eForm and we go to Style and we come down in our cascading style sheet and we say eForm, let's make those white letters with a background color of blue 
and repost it. And so now we can see that our form style has changed. So we've created a form, we put in several text fields, a couple of a comment field and a submit button, and we use that to call a script. If we go back and we look at our script, here's our script and we can see that's a PHP coded script that works with our hosting company server. So the form takes the data, calls this script, and sends it. And when we check our email, we would see a text page that has that in it. And that is the fundamentals for a form. And if we go back to design, we can see there we have it. So let's go back to splitting the design. And we can tell that we can modify it slightly just to make it more pretty the way we want it. And if we notice here, the text field is in a paragraph and the comments are in a paragraph. And if we come down here and we put a line break, and let's refresh it. And so you can see that we're able to modify our form. And that's really all there is to a form. So the idea is we put in a form container, we put in text fields to capture the data, and we call a script to handle that data. Now we could insert some different scripting to validate a text, to validate passwords, etc. And those are just scripts that carry on to that. So let's go validate a script. Okay, we'll call this A and label it as A. And we will no tag. And that will then validate our text. So let's take a look at what we have now. Let's reload that. And if we try to submit it, we're good. But if we try and submit it without it, it tells us that a value is required. And that is simply a text verification script. So if we go back and look at that, we can see that the script here is required, if it's empty, is requiring a missing value. And so the var is text field and it's empty, so it's telling us there's nothing there. And that is how we build a form. Thank you very much and have a great day.